So we don't normally do interviews, but I thought this one was just uh, far too bizarre to let go. So uh, we have the uh, senator on the phone with us now from her office in New York. Welcome to the program, Senator Hillary Clinton. Hello, Glenn. Uh, hello, hello. Yes, hello, Glenn. Your voice sounds a little weird. We must have a weird phone connection. You sound fine on my end. How do I sound to you? Um... Well, like like Hillary Clinton, um, Senator, uh, an amazing speech given in Boston. Thank you. Uh, but surprising. It's not the kind of language that I expect to hear from the Clintons. What do you mean, not the kind of language you expect to hear from the Clintons? Well, I mean, you're you know you're a praying woman. You said. I am, Glenn. As it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, there's a time to live. And a time to die. Right. And then, and then uh, I'm sure it says something about praying a lot, too. And I'm sure it says something about praying a lot, too. Right. Uh, I've read the whole book. Right, okay. So, I had to read Bill's book, 735 pages of blah, blah, blah. So, um, if you became the uh, uh, President of the United States, we could trust... No, no, not President of the United States. If I win, I will be the Reverend of the United States. See, this is not... This sounds to me like you're just kind of um, trying to play in to the, uh, the, to the Red Staters. What are you saying, Glenn? Well, that you're a, you're a Blue Stater. I'm a Blue Stater. Yes, and this is Red State language. Arkansas is a red state. It went for Bush. I lived there for years. Right, but you, now you're the senator from, from New York. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let me ask you this. Michael Newdow, he's the guy who wanted the, uh, the uh, under God taken out of the Pledge of Allegiance, and he also wanted the prayer removed at the inauguration yesterday. What are your thoughts on him? Oh, that scrawny little atheist punk. You know what I'd like to do to him? I'd like to take him down into my basement in Chappaqua, where I may or may not have a table with straps affixed to it. I'd like to lay him down, make him wear leather pants, and drink his blood. <laughs> um. Or, well, you know, just maybe speak more critically of him in a public way. Triple eight seven two seven back. This is that Glenn Beck program.